Uh, I was introduced to Sim School when I was working with uh, Southern Polytechnic State University here in Georgia, and we were introducing technology to help their um, pre-service STEM teacher program. Um, and the reason I believe so passionately in Sim School is I watched our, our pre-service teachers, and they had epiphanies uh, working with the Sim students. Now these are students that had already had an opportunity to observe in a live classroom. They were paired with uh, mentor teachers. Um, they'd had an opportunity to teach in, in live classrooms. So when we dove into Sim School, we allowed them to get to know the basics, the, the initial exercises in Sim School. Um, and then we gave them some simulated students that were a little more challenging. And um, what was really notable, what I remember uh, distinctly, we had a couple of students that stood out. One was a very A-type personality, and she wanted to do everything right. Um, she, when we uh, started the module, and she had some challenging students, when the students were not immediately showing academic gains, uh, she got very concerned, and, and she started... Um, giving them new tasks, talking to them, and, and just prodding and trying to make a difference. Um, her partner, uh, who was working on another computer, took a different approach. He was a little more laid back. He would give the same task to the same students, and he would sit back and watch. At the end uh, of that simulation, um, they reviewed the data from the students, the SIM students, and um, it was interesting because the A-type student wanted to know, what did you do differently to start getting academic gains from these students? And the fact that he sat back and, and let the student uh, get acclimated to the task, and initially the, the student might show some academic challenges, eventually the, the curve started going up and, and he started seeing academic gains. And it was just such an, uh, um, an eye-opener for the A-type student that you can't control everything and it's not always a good idea to try to control everything and that was something that she took with her from that moment on in the rest of her teaching experiences.